Okay, so this is just a quick video, um, just looking at one particular stage of installing the Ringfield motor adapters uh, into the, the Ringfield motor bogey. Um, and that particular stage is making sure that the, the new gear and the shaft of the new motor are correctly aligned. One of the issues that can happen if it's not correctly aligned um, is that the, the wheels and the gears, the gears here can be really hard to turn. Sometimes they won't move at all if you move them like this. Other times when you move them back and forwards, you can feel like really significant resistance. Um, that can be a problem because it stresses the motor um, and also it could damage the gears if things are run uh, over the long term, not properly aligned. But another thing that it can do as well, if you've got this hooked up to a DCC decoder, that extra resistance um, can create a, a current surge in the motor um, and that can make the, the motor go into safety cutout mode um, and then the, the chip and probably the command station as well will all close down and restart, which is definitely not what you want. So what we're aiming to achieve anyway is a free moving motor so that when you hold it like this and you move your fingers back and forwards like that, the wheels turn and the gears turn and you'll feel a little bit of resistance because the, there is a, you know, a load of gears being moved like this, but it, it isn't too much force or effort that's required to move it and it should move a little bit like this. What you can see in this particular motor here, I hope, is that that shaft is dead center in that brass bushing, completely aligned. And that's what's meaning that this can rotate really freely. And that's how you want it. You want that to be completely centrally aligned. If you've removed that brass bushing, then just make sure it's centrally aligned uh, in the plastic surround. So what I'll do now is just quickly dis disassemble all of this and I'll set it up in one or two of the scenarios um, that you might find yourself in and just show you how to, to adjust the installation of the adapter to get everything all aligned up so that it runs nice and smoothly. Okay, so I've set this up um, as a uh, jammed bogey, one that won't move, and actually, <laughs> it's surprisingly hard to do. I kept readjusting it and it was working fine, but anyway, I've managed to do it now. So um, what has happened here, and it's probably not gonna come out that, uh, that well, but the shaft is just very slightly too close to this wheel over here. And the other thing that I've done is I've ratcheted down these screws really hard, so everything's in really tight. And what that means now is that these wheels are not moving at all, or they move just very slightly with, with quite a lot of pressure there. Certainly, I can, no, not moving there. There were a slight movement. There's no way that uh, your, your DCC decoder or the motor or whatever is gonna manage to, to turn these or to turn these for any long period of time without the motor giving out. So what I want to do with that then is I want to slacken these nuts off slightly or the screws off slightly because they, they don't need to be tightened too tightly at all. Just, just enough to hold this so that it doesn't move but do not tighten them too much. And the other thing is just to realign this, readjust it so that that central shaft there and the, uh, the gear there is nice and central. So what we need to do is just to line the adapter up and the way that I normally do that is I switch it over and I look down on the top of it um, and just line the adapter up so that the, uh, the shaft is dead center. Um, you can do that by moving the lugs up and down just very slightly, there's enough play there um, and a slight rock either side just so that you can line that up. Now that is looking pretty good to me that the, the shaft there um, is dead center, which means that the cog behind will be dead center. Yep. So now that I've got that dead center, I just lightly hold it between my thumb and forefinger like that, making sure that I, I don't move this out of alignment and then I pop the screws in. Um, now what you need to do when you're tightening up these screws is don't tighten them too much. And I do mention that in the instructions. They, they're not here to hold the, the motor in um, you know, against all odds. They're just there to hold the adapter in the correct position. And one of the things that will happen, well there's two things that will happen if you over tighten these screws. One is that the adapter itself um, may warp or the lugs may snap off, which we, we don't want. But the other thing actually is that um, you can tighten them up so much that uh, this plastic starts bending um, and then that also affects the alignment of that cog. So you just want to nip them up and uh, maybe just back it off just a fraction after you've nipped it up. Uh, and that's all that you need. They don't need to be clinging on um, for dear life. So that's us uh, tighten those screws up anyway. And that's the motor there, the shaft rather dead centered. So what I'll do is I'll reassemble these cogs here um, and I shall show you them working nice and smoothly again. 
Okay, now one top tip um, when you're lining this up, um, I've tried to often do it by eyeball just to line it up and then move the back and shift. But what I've actually noticed just in doing this video is if you leave these nice and loose and you just move the wheels backs and forward, the whole gear system has a habit of nestling itself into an arrangement that works best for it. So what I've done this time as a kind of alternative is just to loosen these off move the wheels backs and forwards like this just to allow all the gears to settle into where they want to be and then I've come over to the back here and then we'll just tighten these up and as I stressed I probably said a number of times in this video now when you're tightening these up I'll come around and do it this way don't tighten them too tightly just tighten them enough so that the the screw is just bitten down on top of the the adapter that's all it needs to be Okay, so that's everything reassembled. And just to prove, there we go, that's the wheels moving nice and freely there again with the, the spindle, the motor shaft rather, and the, the, the gear there, nice and central. Um, and one thing to mention actually is you don't need to remove all these gears to actually adjust it. I just uh, wanted to remove them in the hope that it may, may make things a wee bit clearer there. But you can uh, do all the adjustments with these in place. Just flip it over, loosen the screws down, Realign that so that's central, whip it over again, tighten them up, and job's a good one.